Welcome to another episode of Eberhard Outdoors. This one's going to be on a ring of steps as well as a strap on single step. Uh, I'm going to start out with a uh, tree hopper. Uh, they make a drill which I'm going to show you here in a minute as well. But the tree hopper steps, you can use these individually. So they've got slots on them. So you can put a single cam lock strap in here. Cam lock straps work okay if you're just using them as singular steps, you know, a single step on a cam lock strap. Because when you're going up, you're pretty much stepping straight down on everything. You're not worried about pushing side pressure on it. And plus with a ring, you need them tight. The ring at the top, you need them tight, tight. You don't want them to make any noise whatsoever. When you're just going up and down the tree, it doesn't matter if it slides and piece, busts a piece of bark because you're making noise climbing the tree anyway. But it'll be minimal. So this here has some texture on the back. It has some grooves in the back. Plus it's got a really tall back end against the tree. So it's got a big slot, so it's easy to slide your strap in there. These little wings on here allows the steps, even when they're on the strap, which I'll show you, to nest together. So they don't move while you're carrying them, even when you're carrying them up the tree. And the step, if you notice, it has a little upward angle because when you do put weight on a strap on step, even up at the top on the ratchet, it's going to pull down a little bit. So even though it's an upward angle, by the time you put weight on it, if you put all your weight on one step, it'd probably pull it down to where it's pretty much parallel or perpendicular to the tree, you know, pretty much flat. So that little upward angle is there for a reason. And it's got a really aggressive step there, so you're not gonna have any problem with your boot sliding off the step. So this is, tested out at a thousand pounds. It's still rated for 300 pounds when you buy them. Nothing's rated over 300 pounds for climbing off the ground, whether it be tree stands or whatever, saddles. Uh, very nice steps. These are about 20, 19 or 20 dollars per step. If you're going to get some for a ring of steps, now here is that same exact step. I've got five of them on a ratchet strap. Now, Tree Hopper does not sell ratchet straps, and these ratchet straps are not like the ones you buy at Home Depot or at Menards, because all the ratchet straps you buy there have hooks, hooks on them to hook onto hooks and stuff for tightening stuff down in a truck bed and stuff. These ratchets are pretty much a straight strap that you put in a slot over here and then you tighten it up around the tree. So this is kind of nice because it doesn't make any noise. Those steps are all nice and neatly nested together. And then once you put them on the tree, you tighten the ratchet up until these steps are starting to get a little bit snug and you've got them at the height that you want them. And then you just pull, pull the steps apart and you slide them around the tree until you get them where you want. And then you finish tightening the ratchet strap as tight as you can get it and then close it. And once you get it snug, pull them out of their nest position, slide them around the tree. I like to gap them about 8 to 10 inches apart. They don't have to be perfect. Now I've got six steps here on this one. I don't think I need six. But because I do, I'm going to put these a little closer than normal. And then I'm going to finish tightening this up. I don't like to have straps hanging around because wind can blow them and that's movement that you don't really need. And also try and pull it down below. Reason being, you may step on that ratchet and use it as a step. So now these are all firmly in place. So once you get your sticks up, that process of putting on the ring of steps and then getting up here with your lineman rope so you're staying attached and then hooking up your tree tether and then hooking up to your bridge, it, you know, it. It shouldn't take five minutes, maybe. So my hunting position is over here where I'm sitting to hunt. But if I wanted to hide from deer coming in this way that I don't want to shoot, or if a buck's coming in from that direction, I'm not going to keep my body on the same side of the tree as the deer. He's going to be able to pick me when I make any movements, when he gets close enough. So as he's coming in, I'm going to move and stay on this side of the tree. You know, I'm just going to slide over here and take that shot, no matter where he is. But I'm keeping the tree as a buffer. Um, and I like to gap my steps about 8 to 10 inches apart. Uh, that way I can move around the tree easily. I don't even have to look at them. I know where they're at when they're that tight. If you put them too far apart, you're making awkward moves because you're, 
you're making your legs have to go too far apart to find the next step. You actually have to look. And, then, and when you got your bow in your hand, you want to be able to move around the tree without even having to take a peek. It's my recommendation if you're going to get a ring of steps, whether it be the Bowman's or the tree hoppers, to get at least seven steps. You may only use five of them. I've got five on here. Five will fit most trees, but if you ever do get into some bigger trees, you've got an extra step or two that you can slide on the ratchet you know, before you even go up the tree. Because you can tell from the ground how, high, how big a diameter it's going to be when you get up there. So this is the tree hopper. Now, if you noticed, everything I have here is made out of plastic. Um, I was a proponent and I endorsed the Cranford ring. I used that for a couple of years, but the Cranford steps are steel. So they were definitely heavy and they were definitely noisier to set up than these. Um, and now that these are both of these brands are far superior in my opinion as far as being quiet and lightweight than the Cranford's, so I'm not endorsing the Cranford's anymore. Um, I'm endorsing these plastic ones just because they're just easier to use. The next ones are Bullman's. Now Bullman actually sells the ratchet straps for $10 a piece. These are the ratchets that you can use for your ring of steps. You want a ratchet strap because you want those to be tight 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 so they don't have any play on them whatsoever you don't want them to make noise when you're up there moving around on them this is a Bowman apex step and it's twelve dollars and as you can see the back of it's very aggressive so it bites somewhat bites into the tree so this one is probably the one I would recommend if you're gonna buy a bunch of steps for strap-on steps for going up the tree this is the one I would recommend from Bowman now if you are going to use Bullman steps up at the top, they've came out with this new one. This is called a this is called their platform step. And as you can see, it's got angles on both sides. So whether you have, you know, when you're putting these around the tree, you don't know if you're gonna move to the right, you don't know if you're gonna move to the left. But however you do it, you're always gonna have your boot at the same angle that it's going to be when you move to it or if you're just sitting at rest while you're hunting you know your feet are going to be on some steps over here so they're going to be kind of angled so this kind of fits the angle as opposed to if you were using this for your ring your boots going to be pretty much on the edge of the step as to as opposed to having this flat surface to lay on now this step also has a very aggressive back it's got a little bit of a curve to it, so it kind of shapes the tree, but it's got all these little needle-like things on these little squares. And these bite into the tree really, really well. And this is a $15 step. So you're looking at $15 per step. Now you can use these for singular steps, strap-on steps for climbing, or you can use these at the top. Uh, if you're gonna use Bowman for a ring, I would definitely recommend their platform step as the ring because of the angle. As far as the steps, they, they stick out the same distance. So that's not gonna make any difference. And I'm gonna show you those on an actual strap. So they make these pouches that are really kind of cool. You can carry it like this in the front when you're going up the tree. You know, most guys are using sticks to go up the tree. They're not usually using strap-on steps. They're using sticks with aiders. So you can carry this here to be out of the way or if you really want this thing out of the way, put it on like this. Now you got your whole front end for putting up sticks with aiders or just singular sticks or whatever. And when you get up to the top, you just spin this around and these pouches are, I think $25. And it's kind of cool because that pouch when it's closed, you know, it kind of lays over the top. And then when you open it, you just pull them out, slide this back around. So when you put them in there, you put them in on the ratchet. So the ratchet's right there. Now these are the apex steps. I got five of the Bowman apex steps on a single ratchet strap. And what I'm gonna show you instead as far as the ring these will work for a ring. They're just not as nice as these other ones. That's the Apex for 12 bucks per step. So I'm just going to put this over top of the other one. So this is going to be on your back. Again, this is the Bowman platform ring. 
once you rip it around to the front of you, grab the strap, grab the steps, pull that back around the back. Now this is going to be your Bowman ring of platform steps. And as you can see, they've got the angle on them. You just take these, and I'm going to show this in the video as well. I'm going to do a video out in the tree. You just take this and you wrap the strap around the tree. Put this into your ratchet here. Pull that out, and then you just start ratcheting it. And then once you get it just, just barely snug, then what you do is you take your steps and you move them around the tree where you want them. So you're basically going to have them, you know, something like that around the tree. So it's going to be real easy. And you can actually, you can actually use the top of the ratchet because this is going to be dead quiet once you tighten this down. You can use that to step on as well. You can actually use that as a step. I wouldn't want to use this as one of the steps where I'm at rest, where I'm in my hunting position. I wouldn't want my foot on that. I'd want them definitely on two steps like this, straddling the center one. But then I could easily use that to use that to move around the tree, and that would not be a problem because that's a short-term deal when you move around the tree. So that's how that works. And then once you slide those around to get them where you want them, then you just finish tightening up the ratchet. You just you don't go click, 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 click. You just do it one click at a time. So it's once you get it relatively tight, you pull the strap out. Once you get it pretty tight, you know, it's only a few clicks to tighten these things down. And they get they tighten up almost as tight as a screw in step. So we've got your Bullman. This is the platform ring of steps. You've got the Bullman apex steps that you can use for a platform, but most people are using those for singular steps, for strap-on singular steps. And these are $12. These are $15 per step. And then your other option is going to be the tree hopper steps. And these are $19 or $20 per steps. And these, these actually nest together. Tree hopper does not sell a ratchet strap. So you're, if you get tree hopper steps, all these are quality steps. I don't think it matters what you get. Uh, but if you do get tree hopper steps, you I recommend buying a ratchet strap from Bowman or from Cranford. Cranford also sells a very good, high quality ratchet for their for their steps that I don't use anymore. But they they sell the ratchets separately. So that's the steps. And keep in mind, if you're a platform guy, you can still use these in conjunction with a platform. You know, if you're if you're going up the tree and you put your platform here. You know, you can only maybe take three steps on a, on a ratchet and put put your, I'm going to get the, pretend these are not on here. Pretend this is your platform right here. You know, you're only going to need probably three steps around here to the back side of the tree. So you can stand on your platform and if you want to move around the tree, you just step on these other steps. It's a... It's highly recommended by me, and I've been doing this for 40-some years and killed a gazillion deer out of my saddle. It's highly recommended to take advantage of the saddle the way it was designed and put steps on the back side of the tree. I think it's really, I personally feel it's ridiculous to stand on a platform and spin around 180 degrees to shoot a deer at your 5, 4, or 3 o'clock. That's so much movement on the same side of the tree as the as the deer is, there you are going to lose opportunities in your bow hunting career for the rest of your life. You will lose some opportunities. If you're hunting in a pressure area, you're going to get busted a lot. You're going to get picked. That's way too much movement on the same side of the tree as a deer. So if you're on a platform and you have a deer coming in over here, your 5 o'clock or your 4 o'clock, and you see it come into fruition, you want to move around over here. You want your feet over here on these steps. You want the tree as a blocker. That way when you take your shot opportunity, you know, your body's on the opposite side. You just slightly lean to the side to take this shot over here. Now it's on your strong side. Without all that movement on the same side of the tree, you're always keeping your body hidden on the back side of the tree. So I highly recommend if you're using a platform, especially if you're on a tree that's that big around or bigger, to have steps on the back. Because a lot of the YouTube videos I watch, these guys are in these little tiny trees, which I don't even hunt unless I absolutely have to. In a little tiny tree, you could 
Yeah, you could be on a lone wolf, you know, a hang-on stand or pretty much any hang-on stand and shoot around the whole tree, 360. So, you know, the guys that are leaning off to the side, off the side edge of the platform to shoot on the back side of the tree or whatever, to shoot 360, you could do that off a hang-on stand. But when you get into a tree that's got a little bit of diameter to it where you couldn't shoot to the back side with a hang-on, you can't shoot to the back side of it very well with a, plat with a platform if you're a saddle hunter either because you have to swing around the tree too much. You put your feet on the edge of the, edge of the platform and want your left foot's up against the tree and you swing around the tree, that's just a lot of body movement. Your body's out of control some of the time. Once you get over there, it's hard to get back. So if a deer is doing something and then it turns around and goes back this way, now you've got to make the movement usually with your bow in your hand of grabbing the tree somehow and pulling your weight back up so you can get back up on the platform. That's just a lot of movement. And uh, yeah, you can get away with it sometimes, but you're not going to get away with it all the time. I guarantee that. In a, in a hunting career, that's going to cost you animals. So being able to move around the tree is a big deal. Uh, all three of these are phenomenal. You can't go wrong with any of them. I, I think for the ring, I would either recommend these two, the Bullman platform or the tree hopper. Both of these are phenomenal steps. Both of these companies sell the cam lock straps, which are fine for individual steps for a strap on singular step. What I've already got set up here is a tethered Predator platform, and I've got a set of Bullman Apex steps wrapped around it for a ring of steps to go in conjunction with the platform to get around the tree. These are the tree hopper steps, and as you can see, they nest together. So when you're carrying them, you know, even if you're carrying them up the tree, they don't make any noise going up. And I have to be kind of cautious because I'm trying to set this up in a manner where I can use these three different platforms. So I can use these three, you know, this set, this set, and then another set of Bowman's up here. So I can use them without them interfering with each other. So I'm going to try and stagger them. I want to stagger them so I can step down from steps to steps. What you need to do is you need to snug it up a little tiny bit and then you take these steps off their nest and you move them to where you want them. So this step over here, we're going to slide this around. And once you get them where you want them, then you tighten up your ratchet. And as you can tell, you do all that from one position. So these are called the Bowman platform steps. And these are designed strictly for a platform ring of steps. Just barely tighten that, and then you can slide these steps around where you want them. Might as well move several of them at a time, get them around there because you got to reach around the other side of the tree. Once you get them about how you want them, I like them about eight, to about ten inches apart. Then you finish tightening up the strap. Get it nice and tight. If you want to put your tree tether in the bottom of this pouch and put your ring of steps on top with the strap on the strap, uh, then you can take out your steps, put them up, you know, flip this around to the back. Once you get that hooked up, you're in your saddle, you've got your lineman rope around, then you step up onto the steps, and then you can, you know, keep your lineman rope hooked up, hook up your tree tether, and then disattach your lineman rope, pull the tree tether out of the pouch, and then put the pouch in your backpack. Okay, I'm gonna show you how fast the modified ESS is. This is, this is the same thing I've been using since the 80s. I hunted, started with a tree sling and I modified that in the exact same manner as I did this. So I've been hunting out of this style of modification for 40 years. And I did it, already posted a video on calling somebody and having your saddle ESS modified. If you want the baddest saddle there is, this is it right here. And it's super fast to put on. You just overlap the panels, pull the panels down together at the bottom, step into it, grab the two panels in the back, 
pull them up above your waist, grab the tag end of this quick adjust, and you're done. And these will not move. They will stay in place, I guarantee it, walking, climbing, or whatever. But you've got to have them overlapped. you got to have them in your back, above where you're, right at the top of where a belt would be. These will not, these will not come apart when you're walking because people that have been using these and having them come apart, they have it down on their butt a little bit, and when your butt cheeks move, it actually slightly pulls down on that inner panel every time your butt cheek comes down. And it pulls that inner panel out from the outer panel. So when you've got these overlapped and above your waist, your butt cheeks don't affect that whatsoever when you're walking or climbing. And you keep it in this same position when you're climbing and prepping a tree or whatever you're doing. You do not change it from this position until you're hooking up to your tether and then you're going to physically hunt. Then you loosen it up and pull it under your butt. Still have access to the alignment loops. Just took that one on, then you wrap this one around the tree. I'm using a rope man, which I recommend anybody getting, but you wrap this around the tree to climb up the tree. Since I don't have my backpack with me, I'm just going to put this in my pocket. This here's my tree teller. It's a daisy chain. So what we have here is we've got a predator platform by Tether. We've got a Bullman Apex ring of steps around the tree used in conjunction with this platform. Right now I'm tying a girth hitch, which I have a video on that if anybody wants to know how to do that so that it, your knot doesn't slip. But once you have your tree tether hooked up with the girth hitch so it won't slide, you just hook the carabiner to your bridge, and then you can disattach the lineman roll. So now you can grab the quick adjust buckle pull out on it just like you would on a backpack strap you open that up and let it slide under your butt then you adjust this how you want it when you're hunting so now with this ring of steps I just let out a little tiny bit of lead and move around the tree at will keeping the tree as a hiding buffer for And at any point in time where you are moving around the tree and you see it kind of pulling your body forward a little bit, just grab the back side of the tree and just let out a couple inches. That'll allow you to go around the tree farther. The other option from the sitting position would be to shoot at the camera. This way you can keep the tree as a hiding buffer and then just lean to the side and take your shot when it's time. But anyway, this is a Bullman platform ring of steps. I'm going to step down now and get on the tree hopper ring of steps. Just moved down and got on the tree hopper ring of steps. So I'd probably be sitting probably in about this position right here. If I wanted to move around the tree in any direction, again, the same same deal. Let out a little bit of lead. Just move around the tree on the steps. You always want to try and keep the tree as a hiding buffer between you and the deer. Kind of like that. Keep it as a buffer, and then if a deer is coming this way, you take your shot over here, you take your shot over here, you know, you can take your shot over here, wherever, wherever the shot may be, you can take, you know, if you're over here, you could actually shoot anytime. Keep the tree as a high buffer, you're tight to the tree, so 
basically a deer can come through here and you can shoot at any place right here without making any body movements on the same side of the tree as the deer. So shooting over there, keeping the tree as a buffer all the time, real simple. Always keep that tree as a hiding buffer. If you're sitting here and you got a deer coming in over there, coming in this way over here, over on here, keep that tree as a buffer. When you get that shot opportunity, then you can just slide over here and take that shot. Just creep around the tree enough to get your bow clear and take the shot. You're not gonna miss opportunities that way. A lot of guys stand on the platform and spin 180. That is not cool. That is definitely not cool. You hunt in a pressured area, you're gonna get picked a lot. You know, you're gonna get away with it from time to time, but deer look in trees. And when you make 180 degree body spin with your bow in your hand on the same side of the tree as the deer are, you gotta be kidding me. Even at 28 feet up to my feet, I wouldn't do that. There's no way. I want to keep the tree as a buffer all the time, as best I can. It's impossible all the time, but the best you can, to the best of your ability, keep that tree as a hiding buffer. Now, lastly, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to step down here onto this platform, let out some lead, and kind of do the same thing. Now, I would never have my tether up this high. I'd bring it down, it'd be at, when I'm standing on the platform, it'd be at about nose to chin level. But just for this, this will work. Because this is the way a lot of guys hunt. They hunt, they hunt like this on the leading edge of a platform, and then they will actually, and I've seen them do it, it shows. I've seen guys demo this, it shows. To shoot deer on the backside of the tree, they'll lean against the tree and let their body spin like that. Well, that's an uncontrollable movement. You have no control over that body movement once you get to a certain point. And then also, if you got your bow in your hand, what if that deer goes back through here or turns and goes a different direction? And now you gotta get your body back to where it was up on the platform. You don't have any steps around the back, typically. Most guys don't use steps around the back. They just use a platform. So it's really difficult to get your body up. I mean, you gotta use some serious leverage with both hands, actually, to pull your body back up here onto this platform. And that's a lot of movements. So, to me, if I were gonna use a platform, which I never will use a platform, I'm a ring of steps guy, because I like that mobility and I don't like my body this far away from the tree. You know, you can always, if you got steps to use in conjunction, see how much easier this is to move around the tree. So much easier. And I'm tethered way higher than I would be. But it's so much simpler to slide around the tree and keep the tree as a buffer if you use steps in conjunction with your platform. And when you do, you want to keep your steps pretty much level with the platform where your feet are. It's okay if they're a little higher. That's never going to be an issue if they're a tad bit higher. Just don't make them lower. You want them at least level with the platform or a tad bit high. High is actually a little bit more comfortable and easier to move around with, in my opinion. You can just see how much easier it is. Plus, I mean, when you're on a plat, when you're on steps, this is just to me, with my knees bent, all my weight's in my butt. You know, my knees are kind of touching the tree. I got knee pads on. This is just super comfortable. It's like sitting in a chair. You know, that's what the seat in a saddle's for. It's to sit in. Guys that are like this, they stand here and they wonder why their feet get sore. They got up half of their weights on their feet. You know, they don't have as much in their butt and their legs are straight and their body's so far away from the tree. If you somewhat straddle the tree, man, it's just so much more comfortable. With the steps, you just got that option of moving around the tree and using the tree as a buffer. cannot do this with a platform. You can't do it. You can't move around the tree with a platform. You get in trees this big around, you are going to lose areas you cannot shoot. You know, you could do the same thing on a hang-on stand as you could with just using a platform. Because with a hang-on stand, you're tethered to the tree as well. You can lean to the side and do some weird stuff as well. But uh, if, you, if you're hunting in a decent-sized tree, 
with a platform, you're not going to be able to shoot all the way around to the backside. There's going to, you're going to lose some, some percentage of your shooting mobility. As long as you got steps on the back, you're not going to lose anything. So, you know, when you think about it, I like to think about it as not year to year. I like to look at it during my whole career as a hunter. Sure, I could use a platform and maybe two or three years would go by and I would never have an issue. You know, because I assume deer are going to come in a certain position and that's where they come from and I shoot them. So when you're looking at a full career of hunting, just using a platform by itself is going to cost you deer. I guarantee it. So once you get your sticks up, that process of putting on the ring of steps and then getting up here with your lineman rope so you're staying attached and then hooking up your tree tether and then hooking up to your bridge, it, you know, it, it shouldn't take 10 minutes. So because this is how I like to sit with the panels kind of touching each other, about in this position, knees about like this, uh, I'm actually going to show you what I would do to move around the tree because you can't move around the tree without letting out a little bit of rope. Okay, as soon as I start to move around this tree, and I'm using the ratchet as a step here, this rope binds me. It pulls me into the tree. And it, it, it also, as it's pulling me into the tree, it's raising my feet up. So whenever you want to move around the tree in either direction, what you've got to do is you've got to let out a little bit of rope. And then, you know, you're going to have your bow in your hand. And then you move around the tree, you know, to shoot different directions. You know, if I wanted to hide from you, the camera, I'd just move it back over to here. So my hunting position is over here, where I'm sitting to hunt, just sitting in rest. Uh, but if I wanted to hide from deer coming in this way that I don't want to shoot, or if a buck's coming in from that direction, I'm not going to keep my body on the same side of the tree as the deer. He's going to be able to pick me when I make any movements, when he gets close enough. So as he's coming in, I'm going to move, you know, I'm just going to slide over here and take that shot, no matter where he is. But I'm keeping the tree as a buffer. Keeping the tree as a buffer is really, really important, especially if you're in an area with a, where there's a lot of deer. You know, because there's going to be deer you don't want to shoot and you don't want them spooking. Um, and also, keeping the tree as a buffer, you just don't want it, you don't want to get picked. You know, when you're in a big tree and you're on a platform or in a tree stand and you're doing this, you, you can't slide around to the tree and shoot the like over into there, into your 12 o'clock to, you know, 3 o'clock area. That's just too hard to do. And, you know, the only way you could do it is to do this to take that shot over there. And that's very difficult. That, that changes your whole shooting form because you're, you're changing your body form when you do that. That's just an awkward shot angle. And, you know, I watch a lot of videos where, you know, they stand up on their platform and they spin their body around 180 on the same side of the tree as the deer is. And to me, that's a joke. You do that in a heavily pressured area over the course of your career, you're going you're gonna to miss a lot of opportunities. You're going to spook a lot of deer. That's all there is to it. If you're hunting mature deer, you're just definitely going to spook deer. So anyway, what we've got, we've got a set of Bowman platform ring of steps. Got a set of tree hopper ring of steps here. And then at the bottom, we've got uh, Bullman Apex steps. So anyway, thank you for watching another episode of Eberhard Outdoors and uh, whatever. If interested, the links to many of the podcasts I've been on or for information about my two-day whitetail workshops that take place in March and April, please visit my website at d-e-e-r dash j-o-h-n dot net. Thank you for watching another episode of Eberhard Outdoors and to receive notifications for future videos, please subscribe.